This week, a big green ogre made storybook characters in Shrek. Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci are lovers in The Man Who Cried. And Nicole Kidman is a dance hall diva in Moulin Rouge. This has got to be the first movie to utilize Nirvana and The Sound of Music. I think there's a pretty good chance that's true. <laughs> I've tried to be fair to you creatures. <laughs> now my patience has reached its end. Tell me, or I'll... No, not the button! Not the gumdrop button! You know animated movies are evolving when they start torturing the gingerbread man. I'm Richard Roper. And I'm Roger Ebert. Evil Lord Farquaad, the villain of Shrek, hates fairy tale characters. He banishes them to the swamp where Shrek, an ogre, lives in lonely isolation. And that drives Shrek nuts. He values his privacy. So when Farquaad needs a mercenary to rescue a beautiful princess from a dragon, Shrek takes the job if he can get rid of Pinocchio, Tinkerbell, the three blind mice, the three little pigs, the three bears, and everybody else who's messing up his solitude. But a talking donkey insists on staying. Please! I don't want to go back there. You don't know what it's like to be considered a freak. Well, maybe you do. But that's why we got to stick together. You've got to let me stay. Please! Please! Okay! Okay! Eddie Murphy is brilliant in this movie as the voice of the donkey, and that's Mike Myers with his Scottish brogue as Shrek, the jolly green ogre. Together, they go on a mission to battle the dragon and bring back the princess. Just keep moving, and don't look down. Look down. Look down. Keep on moving, and don't look down. Don't look down. Keep on moving, and don't look down. Shrek! I'm looking down! Cameron Diaz does the voice of Princess Fiona. She couldn't care less about Lord Farquaad and assumes that she's destined to marry the brave knight who rescued her. You may remove your helmet, good sir knight. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Why not? I, I have helmet hair. Please, I would look upon the face of my rescuer. Oh, no, you wouldn't, Durst. But how will you kiss me? What? <laughs> that wasn't in the job description. Maybe it's a perk. You can sense in that clip there that Shrek is something special. There's a lifelike feel to the look of the animated characters who are convincing and lovable and seem to be made of real flesh and bones. The movie is funny, satirical, and filled with reference to other movies and digs at popular culture. It was produced by DreamWorks, Disney's arch rival, and it takes some shots at Disney icons, but then it takes shots at just about everybody's icons, and I think they're basically affectionate. The movie has a remarkable visual feel. The characters have weight, volume, and texture. The action sequences are exhilarating. And the screenplay is fun for kids and adults at the same time, but on different levels. I loved it. I like this movie a lot as well. And you're right. I mean, the rippling of clothes and when wind blows the hair, it's much more realistic than I think we've ever seen in any animated movie. I mean, every five minutes, there's an advancement in the technology. But it also has a real mean edge mm -hmm. that I really appreciated. I mean, there's <laughs> stuff that goes on in here that you're going, I can't believe I just mm -hmm. saw this in an animated film but it will give you several laugh-out-loud moments. You know, it's not a gross film in the sense that South Park is gross, but I think it participates in the revolution where yeah. teenagers in particular are now looking at animation in a different way as a satirical tool and as a yeah. kind of a weapon against society. And this movie is not mean. It's more and wicked. It's okay it's for kids, but it is and wicked with sort the of humor. Sly, yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a lot of great stuff going on here. Okay.